Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sanika and you're watching Psycho Diri. Today we have a very special guest with us. Her name is Chanchal Khattar and she is going to talk to us about Ferguson College in detail. Uh, I know a lot of you have asked so many doubts about Ferguson College, especially on the stories that I have put on Instagram two, three days ago. And I hope today all your doubts will get sorted. She is doing a main clinical psychology from Ferguson College, Pune, and she has already completed her first year. And we are very glad to have her with us. Hi, Chanchal. Welcome to Psycho Diri. Hi, Sanika. I'm very glad to uh, have me invited to your channel because I am someone who likes to, you know, help uh, my juniors and other people. So thank you for giving me this opportunity. Okay. Without further delay, let's get started. Chanchal, first of all, I want to know where did you do your bachelor's from and when did you think about starting about preparation of master's? Okay, so I've done my bachelor's from Jesus and Mary College, Delhi University, and I started preparing about, uh, about around the month of May when my bachelor's was about to get over. So I did not start very fast or very quick i started off very late if i say that yeah uh, how did you get to know about ferguson and when did you decide that this was the college that you wanted to get into okay so uh, i got to know about ferguson from my uh, teachers from my college professors they told me that the college is very nice and the faculty is very nice they are very uh, renowned and knowledgeable so you should consider going there so that's when I decided to give the entrance. But at that time, I was still not sure if I should, you know, go there. And that is it. That was not the point where I decided that that is it. And I want to go there. Uh, I just pre started preparing and gave the entrance. And then I uh, then when the results were out, I decided, OK, I'll give it a chance and I'll, uh, you know, take admission. And if I get a better college later on, and then I'll shift. Hmm. But uh, I spent like three months there, and then I uh, I decided that the course was very nice, and the college and the faculty was very nice. So I, then it was the point that I decided that okay, this is it, and this is where I want to be. Uh, Chanchal, now you have done your first year in FC. Uh, can you tell us how your experience has been so far? The good, the bad, everything. Yeah, sure. So uh, if I tell you about the course, um, in the first semester, we had two um, core subjects and one was our elective. So core subjects were basically one was research and stats, second was psychometry and the third was clinical because I chose clinical and for the people who have chosen organizational, it is organizational and one we have practicals. So uh, the good things that I felt was um, was about research and psychometry mm -hmm. because I feel psychometry is not taught in that much depth in all universities and colleges. Mm -hmm. And I think like we had uh, basically uh, constructed our test and then our teachers uh, assisted us in, in how you can, you know, go further and get it published. Although I did not get my test published, but they assisted us in that direction as well. So I think that is the good part. And the second thing was research. So the research is taught in a very detailed and easy manner, which is, uh, you know, very easy to grasp, which is not taught in the same way in other colleges or university. Like I come from uh, Delhi University. So my basics for, uh, for research and stats was not very clear if I be very honest. So when I came here, I was very fearful of uh, research and stats. But now my strong subject is research and statistics. And um, I also want to like get into research and pursue a career in research. So that is the change that, has uh, that FC has brought in me. Mm -hmm. So, but if I talk about the bad part, one bad part that I felt was... Um, I won't say it is a bad part for everyone, but that's what I felt that uh, since I come from Delhi University and clinical psychology in Delhi University in my bachelor's, 
was taught in a very detailed manner. So whatever I did in my first year was almost like a repetition of what I had done in my bachelor's. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like one part was that it was very easy for me to, you know, get through it. Uh, but the other part was that I wasn't learning anything very new. Mm -hmm. And the other uh, bad part, if I say, is that uh, like some colleges, Xavier's and TIS, which offer practical exposure in therapy and give their students internships, FC does not provide them. Like if you want internships, the teachers will assist you in getting those internships. They will uh, tell you where you can go and get internships, but they won't like uh, FC does not have a very active placement cell. Okay, yeah, a um, lot of students actually asked uh, questions about placement cell of FC. So can you shed a little light on is there a placement cell? If yes, then do placements happen after master's? And what happens if you want an internship? Like in what way do professors help? Do they tell you about their contacts or you just have to figure it out on your own? Um, as far as I know, uh, the there is... Uh, a so-called placement cell, but that is not very active. Mm -hmm. uh, act and as far as I know, it is almost to the point that it is inactive only. Okay. So uh, what I would say or I would suggest, what I have done is I was after the professors. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I need this internship in this field particular field and I am uh, interested in this so teachers will assist you because they do have contacts so you have to be after them they like opportunities do, won't come into your hand like in other colleges they do you will have to run after them if you are hard working and if you are dedicated after them like after working hard and everything you will definitely get some that is it but um, you have to be like running after it what kind of internships are you or your peers doing right now in first year okay so uh as far as i know um some people who are like the people who are doing organizational type psychology have taken their elective as organizational psychology they are some of them are working in learning and development uh one of them was uh, like some students who have taken clinical uh, as their uh, elective, they are working at therapy centers or doing some observership. That's that's about it. And because I was interested in research, I was searching something around research and psychometry. So that's what I am searching right now. And I have not been able to find something as of now, uh, which particularly, you know, interests me. But that's what I have been searching on. So professors have also been assisting me. But if I talk about is the is like, do you get opportunities on your hand? No, that is not there. You really have to work hard for it. Yeah. All right. One another question that a lot of students had as a confusion is right now as they're filling their form, they can't see the specialization of clinical or industrial on the form. Uh, so how does it work? How do you get clinical if you want to get clinical? So they are not able to see clinical or organizational in the form because the entrance exam for both uh, the specializations is same. There is not going to be any different exam. After the exam, when you clear uh, the entrance and you uh, take admission, that is the time when you will be asked which specialization do you want? And that is where you have to select. Also, uh, the college or the faculty gives you the opportunity or the option to, sh to shift your specialization which which you have selected in the form if you feel like earlier you had selected clinical and now you feel that you're more interested in organizational till you've given the exams the faculty gives you the opportunity to shift that is also there oh great that is really good for people who are confused completely hmm. 
Hmm. Also, like the college and the faculty uh, holds sessions and uh, guides you about what is there in clinical and what is there in organizational. What careers can you pursue before, uh, like the people choose their specialization? That is also done. Uh, in my case, I could not as- attend the session because um, I had to go back to my place. So I could not attend that, but that is also held. So okay. people can benefit from that. And definitely people who are extremely confused of what specialization to do. I honestly feel industrial and clinical in themselves are very different fields yeah. of work. But if you're still confused in what to do, both are psychology only, then I think some kind of guidance from people who have already been experienced and who are teaching since a long time, it's it's really beneficial. Um, also, like I would like to add a point here. Like if you have choos- chosen clinical or if you have chosen uh, organizational, it does not really matter if you have to shift your uh, interest even after your master's. Uh, it is like much uh, more easier if you have clinical, you can obviously shift to organizational, but there is a little of, um, I mean, hassle if you take up organizational, then you want to shift to clinical because then I don't know that is seen as a hassle, but I'm not really sure. Uh, but if you take up clinical and then you want to shift to organizational, that is not a very big hassle. You yeah. can obviously do that after your master's. I think clinical is like the science of 11, 12th. Science <laughs> like yeah, that. Exactly. Clinical, then you can do counseling also. You can do industrial also. What is the fees of Ferguson College in first year and second year for you at least? Okay, so uh, the fees is different for uh, the people who are from uh, Maharashtra hmm. and the people who are from outside Maharashtra. Hmm. So my fees is uh, for the first year was around 90,000 for one year. And uh, for the people who are from Maharashtra, it is around 60,000. The fees has been recently increased. That is why it's 90 and 60. In the second year also, I think it's almost the same. Okay. Oh, so you are out of Maharashtra. And from what I know, seats for out of Maharashtra students are really less. Like you have really lot of marks you have to be in the top two or three to get the seat that is what a lot of people have told is that true how many students get a seat who are out of Maharashtra uh yeah it is true like there are only two seats for Uh, people who are from outside Maharashtra like the total intake of students is 24 but they usually increase or decrease according to their preferences but last year it was 24 so uh, there were only two students which were basically allowed admission from outside Maharashtra one and there is also a catch here there is only one seat for the person who is from general category outside Maharashtra and the other seat outside Maharashtra is for reserved categories So if you are from general and uh, no reserve, then uh, you have only one seat. But uh, there is also this thing that they at times increase the seats. So uh, you should always try. I mean, in our batch also, there are like five to six people who are from outside Maharashtra. They increase the seats or someone cancels from the uh, SPPU batch and someone is there. So they take you in. That is there. Outside Maharashtra is outside SPPU. Means yeah. anyone who is not a SPPU student from bachelors, they are so, all considered outside. Hmm. Outside Maharashtra is basically outside SPPU only. Okay. Uh, for anyone who does not know, SPPU is Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University. Uh, this is the university under which Ferguson College comes mm-hmm. right now. So if you've done your bachelor's from Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University College, any college, uh, then you have a chance to get admission in that quota, which has relatively larger seats. And uh, if you've not done it from SPPU, then you only have a chance to get one or two seats. And like uh, Chanchal said, there will be more seats 
seats if you're lucky and uh, there are sometimes there are four to five people who study from outside maharashtra in ferguson college uh, so is there any management quota that you can apply for if you don't get in for masters yes there is i mean okay. i am not that aware of it what is the procedure and everything because i did not take admission through management quota but there is so you can go to the office and inquire like to the office or to the department and inquire about the management quota uh the teachers like when i went for the admission the teacher the people who could not get through the merit uh list uh the teachers only were telling them that there is a management quota and you can fill a fill an application or something about that so mm -hmm. there is this thing but i do not know of the whole procedure sure sure uh, then simply filling an application form uh, which will be given on the um, portal maybe or just going to college and then inquiring about that might work uh, uh yeah i think the first step would be uh, entrance only and then uh, the teachers only will be able to assist you in that yeah let's come to the entrance let's get in the game and uh, tell me what is the entrance like is it tough is it as tough as cuet uh no it is not as tough as cuet i have given all the entrances all the possible entrances i have given all of them so last year because i have given last year only so last if i compare the last year's exam cuet and ferguson it was not as tough hmm. but the catch here is that you only have 60 minutes and you have to solve 50 mcq questions hmm. if you have a good grasp over the concepts then it is not tough because you can solve 50 mcqs like one mcq you can solve in like 30 seconds 30 40 seconds right it won't take much more time so you can do it before 60 minutes as well i did it before 60 so but the catch here is questions are not very uh, like very difficult to be honest the problem basically is in the options the options when i gave the exam were very confusing like very similar and it was difficult to choose like what is the correct answer ye bhi ho sakta hai ye bhi ho sakta hai ye bhi lag raha hai so that is the main difficult thing that i felt was there mm -hmm. so what would you think should one prepare for and what are the things one should keep in mind while uh, attempting the exam uh while attempting the exam okay so uh i would say just be calm Mm -hmm. uh i mean if you lose your thing you you will mark the wrong answers you just need to be very very calm relaxed and have good food before your entrance that is the thing with me i mean if i am not um, like have had a good sleep or good food before the entrance then i mess up things yeah. so that is there i think that's it the yeah. preparation matters baki to entrance ke time pe this is it i mean you just have to time yourself that you're not wasting a lot of time and i would say don't look here and there because it's it's going to be an online thing if you move here and there there is going to be a warning and there is one thing as well uh, like i'm not sure if that is true or not uh, our professors told us that if you like move here and there or if we suspect that you were cheating we are uh, usually seeing it and uh, we mark the people who are we, who we suspect that who are cheating and we cut their marks um. and i do not want to name people but the my friends who have done this and like who were doing something of that sort their marks were less than me Oh, okay. Uh, how is the entrance exam conducted? Is it at your home only, or is it in a center? It is at your uh, place. Acha. Like so, Christ. Ha. Okay. So you have to keep your camera on, and uh, okay. then you attempt the exam. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's get to the syllabus chancel. What all is asked in uh, exam, uh, and how to prepare for it? Okay. So. Uh, 
the preparation i would say uh, first thing that is there is go get the syllabus of bachelors um, ferguson that was their bachelors of uh, psychology follow the syllabus for all the three years that is there um and i would say two things uh, health psychology and positive psychology is not taught in all the colleges and all the universities that are there but it is taught in ferguson so you need to be clear about those concepts and those two topics because they do ask questions from that so that is the catch because uh the advantage that i had was that we had done like in the De uh, delhi university you uh, get to choose two or three electives like every in the third year you have to choose uh, four electives to each semester so i had the advantage that i had done both those electives oh so that's why i knew both those subjects but i did not do those for the entrance but i knew the answers because i had done in my bachelors so mm. make sure that you do those two things okay uh, and then how can you prepare as a student uh, how many months before should you start and how do you start the preparation um so the advantage that advantage or even the disadvantage that i had was that uh, during my case uh, the entrances were quite delayed so mm -hmm. i started around the month of may yeah. and ferguson's entrance was around the end of august yeah. if i correctly remember it was on 23rd august yeah so uh, i had like plenty of time uh, but the disadvantage was that our course was rushed mm -hmm. and i did not get a lot of exposure in the college or in pune as well mm -hmm. so that is the disadvantage mm -hmm. but i had enough time to prepare but so, if mm -hmm. if i talk about how sh when should you start your preparation i think if you are uh, if you have like a month and you have done your bachelor's in psychology mm -hmm. then uh, i think you it even a month is fine uh, oh. if you have like like if i tell you you do not have to like go through every book and every para or every line you just have to pick up on the important topics that were asked in uh, the past exam papers and pick up on those topics understand those concepts and try to attempt mcqs that is the key you do not have to go through the books again and every line every para that is you know you're just wasting your energy and your time so that is the key are past year exam papers available not for ferguson then how do you find the topics that you want to study about so what i did was uh, like this is mostly the same uh in all entrances like uh if you pick up different uh, entrances from uh, different colleges you will uh, get to know about which are the important topics because it will be same across mm -hmm. so you get to know yeah basically you do content analysis of qualitative design <laughs> uh, yeah one thing that i want to ask you is um, a lot of students will start preparation right now Uh, like lot of them know about the form getting out maybe one week ago and they will start right now they have entrance in july um many ask if we have just one seat what is the point of trying also there is only one seat and so many will try for it so what is your thought about all this situation that some are going through? i will i will just talk about my experience because even i thought the same that there is just one seat and what is the point of you know giving the entrance and one of my friend did not give the entrance because of the same thing yeah. and i gave it because uh, you know i i talked to my parents because i i i was like you know the admission uh, the application form was around like um, i don't remember but i think it was around 600 to 1000 ke range mein it was so 
um i asked my parents if is it even worth it that i spend and then there is no nothing that i get out of it my parents were like you know just give it we don't mind if you are spending that much on your studies and your education just give it with all your heart and all your uh, uh education and everything hard work and just give it so i gave it and i did not even think about if i'll clear it or not because there there was only one seat yeah so i just gave it and i'll be very honest i did not even open the books like for in the week the the exam was because mm-hmm. i was just chilling and i thought hona hi nahi hai to kar ke kya karna hai mm-hmm. so i did not even pick up my books i just gave the exam and uh, i did not even open the results uh, my friend my best friend opened the results and then she was like how was your exam i was like acha gaya tha kitna acha gaya tha and uh, then my friend was like tu na top ki hai oh <laughs> i was like okay and then i decided that i'll uh, book a ticket to pune and then i'll go because there is one thing that forgiveson does not give you a lot of time when after the results it will ask you to um, come to the college for the admission procedure in like two or three days so you have to be prepared for that uh, like for me i i come from a financially sound background so it was easy for me to book a flight in such urgent situation but i think it might not be the case for everyone yeah chanchal uh, i also want to ask you um, what are the provisions for hostel okay so uh, the hostel is not for master students uh, like i went there and inquired about the hostel facility so they told me that the hostel is basically for 11th and 12th students and first year bachelor students Mm-hmm. so they prefer students from uh, bachelors first year second year or 11th and 12th so it is not for masters and also to talk about the conditions in the hostel it is not very great mm-hmm. uh, i would say I prefer going somewhere else rather than staying at the hostel is it easy to find accommodation outside is it expensive um i would say there are all kinds of uh, facilities available if you want something which is affordable that is also there if you want something which is uh, you know at the expensive end where the all the facilities are there that is also there mm-hmm. okay and uh, how does one go about finding accommodation if they get into forgiveson uh i would say ask the faculty or the people who are already studying at forgiveson they will be able to better assist you uh uh-huh. okay and obviously they can also reach out to seniors if that is the case yeah. one more question that is important is what is the eligibility criteria for uh, giving entrance of forgiveson are non psychology students allowed to sit for entrance or you compulsory have to have a psychology background uh no there is no such eligibility criteria for giving the entrance exam but there is uh, this preference for uh, psychology students which is given like only like uh, if there is a seat left after the psychology students are uh, taken into then only uh, non psychology students are considered if that is what i am aware so they are second on the preference are there students in your batch who are non psychology students no no one even in industrial psych there is no one as far as i am aware no mm-hmm. then it is good to i mean this gives a good idea about how much chance non psychology students have can you also give me an idea in to how the faculty is how supportive they are and uh, how much do they know about the subject uh yeah i mean as i've talked before uh the faculty is very knowledgeable like they were my bachelor's professors knew these professors because they were very knowledgeable and very renowned so i would definitely suggest that the faculty is very supportive very knowledgeable and you should definitely consider 
like this call uh, coming to this college because faculty is very good to be honest mm -hmm. so and, then, and yeah. like and uh, uh, the faculty for organizational psychology specifically is very famous and very knowledgeable i have been taught research by uh, the same professor who uh, takes classes for organizational psychology and i can vouch for that professor so if you are uh, you know wanting to do organizational psychology i can assure you that it is going to be the best for you and uh, uh, the faculty for organizational psychology specifically is very famous and very knowledgeable i have been taught research by uh, the same professor who uh, takes classes for organizational psychology and i can vouch for that professor so if you are uh, you know wanting to do organizational psychology i can assure you that it is going to be the best for you is it vaijanti ma'am uh vaijanti ma'am and uh, uh sheetal ma'am oh nice both of them so sheetal ma'am has taught us research and i know she teaches really well and sheetal ma'am is very active in this also na internship and all she will help you out exactly yeah. in bachelors also from second year she used to help us out and she had nothing to do with bachelors okay she would still come in medal and help <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah anyway okay uh, so faculty is great the course is great what do you think chanchal if a um, student wants to do clinical psych um is this the course for them or they should also consider other options uh i would say obviously they should consider this college as well mm -hmm. but for clinical psychology i won't say that it is it is bad mm -hmm. but i would say there is not much practical exposure here mm -hmm. so that is what they should keep in mind mm -hmm. there are other colleges like uh, tis and xaviers which i am aware of uh, du also does not give practical exposure in that sense so but these two colleges i am aware of uh, they do give uh, practical exposures to their students mm -hmm. so students can consider those colleges in that sense um if i talk about the classes and class timings mm -hmm. then i would say that the classes are not held for a very long time period uh, during the day so you have time to pursue your own uh, hobbies and to build on your skills or do other internships or courses if you want to mm -hmm. so that is the plus point that i felt was because when i joined masters i was not really sure of about what career do i want to pursue or what uh, thing do i want to get into so this particular course gave me enough time to explore myself and what exactly am i interested in mm -hmm. so if you are someone like me or you you want to pursue some other hobby with your masters i think this is the course for you amazing what is the timing of the uh, course in the during day? the day uh okay that is not a lot i mean usually it's for two or three hours during the day oh then so you will get a lot of time i mean yeah. up if you stay for 14 15 hours then 12 13 hours are yours only um okay so there are some funny questions that a lot of people on insta have asked one person i don't know if this is funny they might have asked with lot of agony <laughs> they was is it worth it <laughs> so i would say yes it is um, i mean uh, if you are someone who is uh, really passionate about research or psychometry or organizational or even clinical you should like give it a try at least like even i gave it a try and i got into so just yeah. give it a try for you have already answered this but um, in one sentence if you want to say something to everyone who has messaged me nidhi there is no point in attempting because there is only one fit <laughs> what would you say give it a try <laughs> <laughs> right now answer is give it a try okay someone has asked what is the national level ranking of ferguson college 
uh i do not know about the national level ranking what else um if you want to name one book which should be your best friend during this entire preparation which will be that book shikrari and if you do it completely from start to end is that enough and you have your bachelor syllabus in your mind uh i mean it's good for general psychology and uh, many other topics as well like some topics from bio psychology as well but if i talk about stats and research that is not covered in this book so you will have to go to other books as well yeah correct um do industrial psychology students get placement i am not aware of that uh placement cell as i said is quite inactive but uh, uh they do i mean sometimes people do come here to you know take in students so industrial sex students will get a job at least do they get a job not sure <laughs> i think clinical sex students get a job <laughs> clinical sex students usually like uh, the teachers usually give reference to people that you know to to students basically that you can go and so uh, you can go and uh, get, supervise yourself under some supervisor and uh, organizational students the teachers usually assist the students in getting internships as of now that is what i'm aware of but not about the placements oh, one girl is asking because fc does not provide any field work can you ask her how she manages to get internship exposure at the same time conduct all do all her classes and do all this all of a sudden doesn't that not get stressful uh i mean the course is designed in a way like it is mostly like that is what our teachers when we entered the college they told us that we have designed the course the way it is in uh, abroad like in abroad also they do not have like a lot of classes mostly work has to be done by the students so it is the same here like they teach everything but building on skills and doing other courses and doing the field work you have to find on yourself and you have enough time for that like you only have classes like for like 2 or 3 hours during the day so other half of the day you have it for yourself mm -hmm. so yeah. like how do i manage i push myself i run after teachers that's what i do amazing now the next year whatever juniors will come all of them will run after professors and professors will have you to blame for that <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, one more thing that i wanted to ask is is there is therapy taught in this course uh, as a clinical psychology even if you don't become a clinical psychologist after the masters that you do um you at least become a counseling psychologist like you become a psychologist and once you become a psychologist i think it is important to know how to do therapy so i have different techniques of therapy taught uh not in the first year but yes in the second year mm -hmm. okay so you will be equipped with the skills required to be a psychologist in the first year you only taught about the different disorders that are there in the first semester you will just be equipped equipped about and taught about what is exactly clinical psychology uh, clinical psychology because there are different students from different backgrounds who have not been taught about clinical psychology in depth so first you are taught about what is clinical psychology what are the careers and all of that then in the second semester they teach you about what are the different disorders so and uh, in the second year they try to teach you about how the diagnosis goes about how what can you do and all of the, all of that and in the as far as i am aware in the last semester you are taught about the therapies mm -hmm. but uh, i am not sure about if that is like taught in practical way or just theoretical way mm -hmm. so that is not i'm clear about so you have to get your practice in internships um, that is important yeah internships is mandatory in uh, the last year mm -hmm. and uh, last semester last semester so i think that will be there 
uh, for practical exposure. But as far as I am aware, the internship has to be uh, like found by the student and not the yeah. faculty. Yeah. Um, if anyone wants to get in touch with you um, after this interview, because I'm sure a lot of students might have a lot more questions, um, then is there a way? Are you uh, open to questions on LinkedIn or are you going to make some initiative in which students can enroll? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, planning to host a session uh, on 11th of June, 4 p.m. And in that session, I'll be talking about uh, in-depth uh, way of how I prepared and I'll also be getting one of my classmates uh, who has done her bachelor's also from Ferguson so she'll be telling about the college and the course and she can give you better insights about the college because she's been in uh, Ferguson for like four years now and I'll also be sharing uh, resources about uh, the topics which were asked in the past year's exam uh, mm -hmm. in like the last year Ferguson's master's entrance and the second document which I have been talking about like ma uh, get all the papers and mark down important topics and then uh, make notes on that. Uh, I will be uh, giving out that document which uh, which I had made for my preparation like I took all the papers and then I made a list of topics important topics uh, I'll be giving out the list of important topics as well. So everyone can join that if they want to. And people can also contact me on my LinkedIn or they can also contact me on my Gmail uh, profile. I mean, I can also tell that ccutter41 at the rate gmail.com. Uh, they can send me their queries or any doubts if they have or if they feel that they are not able to understand some particular topic. If I have time, I will definitely try to help them out. And yeah. That is great. I will link your LinkedIn and your Gmail ID in the description box below. Um, this is so good that you're doing this uh, workshop. I just was wondering if it had a fee or was it free of cost? Uh, no, no, it's it's free of cost. Okay, so anyone who is appearing for FC and who wants to get hands on um, their uh, preparation documents uh, and everything that they need for preparation, they can come for this workshop? Yeah, and also if any of the students want like any of... Um, entrances past year entrances uh, i have all those documents as well so i can give those as well it depends okay and if someone misses the workshop by chance uh, is there a chance to get the recording of it or uh, can they contact you to get the documents at least the yeah, ones I I'll be like posting the documents after the session on my linkedin as well and they can ask me about the recording i'm, I'm not sure of uh, I mean, I'll decide if I will be recording that or not. Most probably I will. That is great. That will help a lot of students. And thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much for coming for the interview also. Chanchal, one last thing I want to ask. How do you feel now? Now that you are one year into Ferguson clinical psych training, how do you feel? I feel good. I mean, uh, one thing that I feel is a little a little clear about what I want to do in my career a little mm -hmm. like um, I was not at all clear about my career when I was in my bachelor's because uh, I initially thought that I will be uh, doing something in clinical psychology or doing uh, I mean something in organizational psychology because I was interested in both the fields but it was here that I got a little clarity. I do not have the full clarity yet because I usually tend to pick up those roads which are not picked up by others. So that is what I'm trying to, uh, you know, do. And I'm a little clear on that. That is great. Like, I think one thing that everyone is trying to seek in any college is clarity about where they belong, what they want to do, how they will fit in the career of psychology. So if that is something that you can get from the college that you are in, that is the thing. 
Okay, all right. Thank you so much for interacting so much with me and being so candid about everything that I asked you. Um, I'm sure this has helped all the aspirants a lot, and so many people will be asking you a lot of doubts very soon. Uh, so be ready for that. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for coming once again. So thank that. You. Anjal Khatar, guys. I will also share the poster of the workshop that Chanchal is going to take on my Instagram as well as here um, in some days, maybe. Um, and we will come up with more such interviews of more students from more colleges who will take you inside their world and give you a glimpse of how that college looks like. I hope you are enjoying this. Till we come up with more interviews, keep studying, keep watching my videos, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.